Welcome everyone. This is Mark Lefevre with Level Up Boot Camps. This is kind of our intro video to how these videos are actually going to work. So notice the screen. It's a little busy, but we've got work to do. So what are we going to look at? On one side of the screen, we've got actually our vital source bookshelf. This is actually the candidate readings in electronic form. So what we can do is we can kind of come through here and highlight different things that are important. We can make sure that when we page through the material that if we come across something such as utility theory and we get down to Bayes formula, we understand how that's done. And then when I refer to blue box examples, we can see from here, at least on the electronic version, they're blue. You actually go to the textbook, they look more gray. They change it every single year and I'm stuck on blue box and that's what I'll call it. So we're going to use the textbook as we work through the candidate curriculum. I'll go to examples, exhibits such as this. I'll do anything that we need to within the candidate curriculum because that's actually where you should be learning from. Now down here in the middle, we actually have the PowerPoint slides. And this is actually where we're going to be going through. And at least initially, we go over kind of the overview of where we're going to be going. We'll walk through the different topics each time that we talk about a topic in the candidate reading. This is kind of our summary. And in, in the case that we need to work through some kind of example, sometimes they're written out here in the slides. Sometimes we're going to come over here to the iPad and we're going to work problems here. Now the nice thing is about the iPad Pro is I can actually see what I'm writing and I can actually make sure that if I need to, I can re erase things. Well, see it's going to be a learning curve for me at times. We're going to erase things. We'll know exactly what we're doing and we can see how we can actually work the problems. So there'll be a learning curve for me too, just like that, get that off the screen. But I know that if I need to work something here, I can actually see it and my handwriting is legible versus some kind of a bamboo tablet. So we're gonna kind of be switching back and forth between different items, but that's okay. You'll know where we are. You can always be looking at your textbook, using the workbook slides if you need to, or making notes. You'll kind of want to be prepared. Now, at the end of each week, or each video, I'm sorry, not each week, we're going to actually see this uh, matrix. And this matrix baby basically says, on the left side, it talks about topics to master, Bayesian analysis, all the way down to behavioral portfolio theory. And in here, what I do is I summarize for you the blue boxes that you need to reference. Now notice that if we look at Bayesian analysis, not only is there a blue box one, but over, we're in reading five, we go over to reading not six, but seven, there is a blue box three in reading seven, that's Bayesian analysis again. So oftentimes we gotta be sure that we don't get caught ignoring something later on in the candidate curriculum, that we don't tie it forward, or that we think we've already seen it and we don't need it again. So there's a white text, problem that we need to work through in Bayesian analysis. We saw that just a moment ago. We'll work through exhibits and we'll work through the practice problems. Not always the, all the practice problems because that would take forever, but those are the practice problems on the far right column that you need to work through for the different topics that you need to master. So this is kind of a quick overview. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time going through this, but I wanted to at least show you the tools that we'll be using to get through the candidate curriculum. We'll work each week by section. So for instance, you can work into a reading, reading five, you might see five sections. We'll do the intro in section one in one video, and then section two, section three, and so on. And that way, then the videos stay a little bit shorter. You can bite them off in smaller chunks. You don't have to spend an hour and a half scrolling through a video, whatever you're looking for the data that you need to. So that's the way that it works. I'm open to new and challenges. If you send something to me and you want me to change it up as we're going through the spring, go ahead and send it to me. Anyway, let's get started. This would be at least a good kickoff, and I think we need to get started in behavioral finance. Thanks.